and almost as if they'd pass through each other. This is always the case when two objects of equal mass undergo an elastic head-on collision. Nagpapalit lang sila ng velocities. Example niyan is yung billiard balls. The second type of collision is the elastic collisions. Now, we consider two objects that undergo an elastic head-on collision. In this situation, both the momentum and the kinetic energy of the two objects are conserved. So the initial momentum or the initial total momentum is equal to final total momentum and yung kinetic energy initial is directly equal sa final kinetic energy. In this figure, before an elastic collision, yung two objects move independently. Meron siyang mass 1, mass 2, and their respective velocities. After the collision, the object velocities change, but both the energy and momentum of the system are conserved. So, ang difference ng elastic sa inelastic, bukod dun sa conservation ng energy, kapag yung dalawang objects na nag-collide ay naghiwalay din, yun ang isang palatandaan na elastic collision. And kapag nag-stick naman, yun yung inelastic collision na na-take up na natin from the previous lecture video. In a typical problem involving elastic collisions, there are two unknown quantities and by conservation of momentum and conservation of energy, masasolve natin yung unknown quantities na yun simultaneously. The lecture video natin for elastic collisions as well as the inelastic collisions ay yung collisions in one dimension only. So, one-dimensional collisions. And we have several steps in solving one-dimensional collisions na pwede rin natin i-apply from the inelastic collisions. Two balls with the same mass move toward each other with the positive x-axis to the right. Assuming no friction and that the collision between them is perfectly elastic, Determine the velocities of the balls after the collision. The initial velocities of the balls are positive 30 cm per second and negative 20 cm per second. So the solution for this problem is a matter of solving two equations. Number one, the conservation of momentum and pangalawa yung conservation of energy. Say, so, ito yung dalawang ball with the same mass. Again, ang nagsasabi na ng direction ng kanilang motion is yung signs nung velocities nila. Si eto, si positive is yung to the right nga, nabanggit sa problem. This is the 30 centimeters per second and this is the negative 20 centimeters per second. So this is ball 1 and ball 2. Pareho lang sila ng mass. Tinatanong sa atin yung initial velocities nila. So, we write first the equation of conservation of momentum and dahil equal yung kanilang mass, pwede na natin i-cancel out yung mass dun sa equation. And may sa-substitute na natin agad yung initial velocities nila na positive 30 cm per second and yung negative 20 cm per second. Initial momentum is equal to final momentum M1V1 plus M2V2 equals M1 V1 prime plus M2 V2 prime. Pwede na natin i-cancel out yung kanilang mga mass dahil equal lang naman. We have here V1 plus V2 equals V1 prime plus V2 prime. Given sa atin yung initial velocities, we have positive 30 centimeters per second plus negative 20 centimeters per second. This is equal to V1 prime plus V2 prime. 30 plus negative 20 is equal to positive 10 centimeters per second equals V1 prime plus V2 prime. Say so this is our equation 1. Ngayon, para magkaranta ng equation 2, kaya apply na natin yung equation ng conservation of energy. Ke initial is equal to Ke final 1 half m1 v1 square plus 1 half m2 v2 square equals 1 half m1 v1 prime square plus 
1 half m2 v2 prime square. Again, pwede na natin cancel yung kanilang masses. And pati yung 1 half, matitira sa atin is v1 square plus v2 square equals v1 prime square plus v2 prime square. Now, kung mapapansin natin, these two equations are linear and quadratic. An alternate approach simplifies the quadratic equation to another linear equation if we facilitate a solution. So, na-cancel na natin yung 1 half and na-cancel na rin natin yung mass cell equal lang naman. So, ang gagawin natin, pagsasamay natin yung initial and final velocities nung object 1 and yung initial, fin initial and final velocities ng object 2. So, V1 square, lipat natin ito sa kabila, minus... V1 prime square equals V2 prime square. Ito naman, ilipat natin sa kabila. This is negative V2 square. And the next after this, this equation, if a factor natin yung both sides of the equation. So, itong part na to, iligay na natin dito, is magiging V1, initial na siya, minus V1 prime times V1 Initial plus V1 prime or final. Yung kabila naman, we have V2 prime or V2 final minus V2 initial times V2 prime or V2 final plus V2 initial. Now, we separate the terms in the equation for the conservation of momentum. After natin ma-factor out, i-divide natin yung whole equation na to dito sa equation na to. Kaya lang, i-arrange muna natin. From this equation, magiging V1, eto, eto siya, pinag-uusapan natin, V1 minus, ilipat natin ito sa kabila, V1 prime equals V2 prime minus V2. So, this is the other equation natin. I-divide natin itong equation na to from this equation. So, makakancel sa atin is, take note that this is prime. Makakancel sa atin is ito, cancel na yan. And ito, ang matitira sa atin is V1 plus V1 prime equals V2 prime plus V2. And again, ibabalik natin sila in terms of initial and final positions. V1, lagay na natin ito doon, minus V2 equals negative V1 prime plus V2 prime. Or V1 is equal to V2 equals, labas natin negative sign para, it is V1 prime positive minus V2 prime. So, this is now our equation 2. And substitute na natin yung given values. This is 30 minus negative 20 equals negative V1 prime minus V2 prime. So, this is 50 centimeters per second equals negative V1 prime minus V2. Or simply, balik na lang natin yung kanina na V2 prime minus V1 prime. Ito na yung ating equation 2. Again, this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 na gagamitin natin. Two equations, two unknowns to solve for the velocities after the collision. So, let's proceed to the next page. Equation na, ang equation 1 natin is 10 equals V1 prime plus V2 prime and equation 2 is 50 equals V2 prime minus V1 prime. Ang gagawin natin, we add the two equations. So, 10 plus 50 is 60 and V1 prime minus V1 prime V1 prime minus V1 prime is cancel na. 0 na yan. And V2 prime plus V2 prime is 2 V2 prime. We divide both sides by 2. Cancel ito. V2 prime now is equal to 30 centimeters per second. This is the final velocity of the ball 2 after the collision. And next, 
para mahanap natin yung final velocity nung object 1 or nung ball 1 after the collision. So, for V1 prime, gamitin lang natin any of the equation. Pwedeng equation 1 or pwedeng equation 2. Sa equation 1 na lang, 10 equals V1 prime plus V2 prime. V1 prime is equal to 10 minus V2 prime. Prime ito. V1 prime is equal to 10 minus ang V2 prime is 30 centimeters per second. V1 prime is equal to 10 minus 30 is 20 negative centimeters per second. So these are the values of the balls after the collision. So mapapansin natin that yung balls exchange velocities. Kanina, yung second ball natin ang negative 20 centimeters per second while yung first ball natin yung positive 30 centimeters per second nagpalit sila ng velocity and almost as if they'd pass through each other this is always the case when two objects of equal mass undergo an elastic head-on collision nagpapalit lang sila ng velocities example nyan is yung billiard ball so this is example number one Example number 2, a 1.6 kilogram block initially moving to the right with a velocity of 4 meters per second on a frictionless horizontal track collides with a massless spring attached to a second block with a mass of 2.10 kilograms moving to the left with a velocity of negative 2.5 meters per second. The spring has a spring constant of 600 newton per meter. Letter A. Determine the velocity of the second block at the instant when the first block is moving to the right with the velocity of positive 3 meters per second. Letter B. Find the compression of the spring at that time. In this problem, we identify the system as the two blocks and the spring. So we write down the equation of conservation of momentum and solve for the final velocity of the block 2. And then, gagamitin natin yung conservation of energy to find the compression of the spring at that time. For letter A, the velocity of the second block at the instant when the first block is moving to the right with the velocity of positive 3 meters per second. By conservation of momentum, initial momentum is equal to final momentum m1 plus v, times v1 plus m2 times v2 equals m1 v1 prime or final plus m2 v2 prime solving for the final velocity or the v2 prime v2 prime is equal to m1 times v1 plus m2 times v2 minus m1 times v1 prime divided by m2 and then, we just have to substitute the values kasi given naman na sa atin yung values, initial velocity ng mass 2 and yung final velocity ng mass 1, masasolve na natin directly yung final velocity ng mass 2. So, final velocity of the mass 2 or V2 prime is equal to 1.6 kilograms times V1 is 4 meters per second plus mass 2 is 2.10 kilograms times negative 2.5 meters per second minus mass 2 is 1.6 kilograms times 3 meters per second divided by mass 2 na 2.10 kilograms. By calculating, ang final velocity of the object 2 or the V2 prime is equal to negative 1.738 meters per second. Negative kasi to the left yung kanyang velocity. Ito. For letter B, gagamitin natin yung conservation of energy for the system. And mapapansin natin that yung potential energy is stored in the spring when it is compressed in a distance x. At yung x kang inahanap natin. So, na-compress siya ng hanggang dito. Ito yung x. And after that, i-substitute na natin yung given values to solve for the x. Energy conservation, energy initial is equal to energy final. So, wala tayong potential energy gravitational. Considering, this is the level, ito yung ating reference, and zero yung y initial and y final. One half, m1 v1 square plus 
वन हाफ एम टू वी टू स्क्वेर प्लस वन हाफ के एक्स इनिशियल स्क्वेर एक्वल्स वन हाफ एम वन वी वन स्क्वेर प्राइम प्लस वन हाफ एम टू वी टू प्राइम स्क्वेर प्लस वन हाफ के एक्स फाइनल स्क्वेर टेक नोट ना बिफोर सिल मग गुलाइड हिंदी पे नको कंप्रेस स्प्रिंग मीनिंग अंग एक्स नाटेन इनिशियली इज जीरो तो कैंसिल ना तो सो वी हाव वन हाफ एम वन वी वन स्क्वेर प्लस वन हाफ एम टू वी टू स्क्वेर एक्वल्स वन हाफ एम वन वी वन प्राइम स्क्वेर प्लस वन हाफ एम टू वी टू प्राइम स्क्वेर प्लस वन हाफ के एक्स स्क्वेर फाइनल और प्राइम सॉल्विंग फॉर दी एक्स कंटिन्यू ना नाटिन दी तो इलिपत नाटिन सा कबिलंग इक्वेशन इतोंग टर्म्स ना तो वन हाफ एम वन वी वन स्क्वेर प्लस वन हाफ एम टू वी टू स्क्वेर माइनस वन हाफ एम वन एतो वी वन प्राइम स्क्वेर माइनस वन हाफ एम टू वी टू प्राइम स्क्वेर एतो यून एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन हाफ के एक्स फाइनल स्क्वेर और सिंपली पर दें एक्स ना लंग Pwede na natin i-cancel yung one half para malesa natin yung equation and then we divide both sides by k cancel x final square is equal to m1 v1 square plus m2 v2 square minus m1 v1 prime square minus m2 v2 prime square divided by k And then square root na magkabilang side. Cancel. X final is equal to. Pwede na natin substitute yung values. Square root ng m1 is 1.6 kilograms times v1 is 4 meters per second plus m2 is 2.10 times. Negative 2.5 meters per second quantity square minus m1 is 1.6 times v1 prime square. Ang final velocity na natin for object one is three positive square yan minus m2 is 2.10 kilograms times ang velocity final na nasolve natin kanina is negative. 1.74 meters per second quantity square, and divided by the value of k, that is equal to 600 newton per meter. X final is equal to 0.173 meters. So this is the value of the x or the compression. The initial velocity component of block. Two is negative two point five meters per second because the block is moving to the left. The negative value for the final velocity of object two means that the block two is still moving to the left at the instant under the consideration. So this is example number two.